Hey guys, what's going on? Milo from IM Hacks here again, and today I'm going to go over a basically an alternative solution for Linmail Pro um, for anyone out there who's using any sort of LinkedIn automation software. Linmail Pro is a really good solution. The only thing is, it's quite expensive. I think at the moment it's around fifty-nine dollars per month, and it's pretty hard to get into. Um, you have to go through an application process. Um, so basically what I've done is I've gone out and looked for other options on the market. There's a few out there, but the one that I found to be the best alternative was Duck Soup. And uh, yep, so I'll run through both both softwares for you. And uh, basically you'll be able to have, uh, be able to see how they both work. Um, Duck Soup is Basically, I think it was around fifteen dollars a month. But if you get a six-month package, it basically works out to be the same prices that you'll pay per month with Linmail Pro. Um, there's a link to it in the description of this email if you if you want to buy it. If you do buy it through my link, I do get a commission for it. Um, it won't cost you anything to do so, but it just helps me to keep making these videos. So, would really appreciate it if you did buy it through the link. But if not, um, that's fine, you can just Google duck soup and you'll be able to find it. Um, so let's go through both softwares. So this is Linmail Pro that I'm pulling up here. Basically with Linmail Pro you can download a widget and basically you have the widget running in the background and then you come into here and you go to connection requests and basically you can add add all these people through your dashboard um, with Linmail Pro and it'll tell you so what you, what you do is you come into Lin, uh, to LinkedIn and you do a search so in this instance I'm going to do a search for plumbers actually let's do something different Car, uh, carpenters and um, roofers let's go roofers then you go in people, search for people, and select your location. So I'm going to select the United States and UK. Apply. Connections. Always go for the second connections when you can uh, when you're trying to add connections. I found that to be the most most effective. And then in your filters, you basically try and filter based on their title so what I like to do is do a boolean search so I'll do something like this where it's an owner and then you do a space and then a capital O R and then space and then director basically give them all the options for the different titles you a person you're looking for and then yeah just apply and then it'll give you a search for all the self-employed business owners ETC in your target area. So over here you can see it's all been selected for Linmail. This is the Linmail widget working. Um, if I want to connect with all these people, it's been a minute since I've used the guys, please bear with me. So should give me the option to add and it's not doing that oh, here it is, sorry add all check to queue ok, so now you can see there's 10 people added to my queue and now if I want to connect to them sorry just leave that connection request I'll go to the dashboard and then I can send them a custom message which I should have had here. Here's what I have here. So it basically has placeholders that you can see there. And I've got my my own template that I'm going to run and then you basically select all of them 
should be. There was a way to do it quickly, but it's been a minute since I've used it now. Been using duck soup more recently. But anyway, there we go. That should have been what I did. Check all, and then you just run it. And then this will run in the background. And it's going to add all these people. The good thing about Lino is that you can just have it running in the background and you can keep using your browser. Whereas if you use Duck Soup, I'll just give you an example with Duck Soup. So with Duck Soup, I'll do, use a plumber example. People. You can use the same sort of filters. So you United States and UK. Apply. Connection second. That's my Boolean search. And I'm going to apply it. And now Duck Soup will do pretty much the same thing that Linnell did, but there's a bit of a difference in setting it up. So what you do is you come into their options and I'll give you basically how you want to set it up so when I I say that I want it to send a connection request and then uh, have this personal message so the placeholder is a bit different to it than it is in email and yeah you basically tell it to do all of this the difference is here you can say you limit how many people you want to connect with in here um, they actually say they, they'll do it for you, so they probably figured out what the right ratio is to do, so I'm not messing with that, I'm just going to leave it. Um, the good, another good thing is they get rid of all these little characters here that you have to manually do with Linmail. Um, yeah, so what I might do is I'm just going to stop Linmail. Um, No, sorry. No. There you are. I'm going to stop the email and I'm going to run Duck Soup. So here we are, right here. So with Duck Soup, you just go to Visit Profile and it does pretty much the same thing. Okay, but the only annoying thing is it does it in your browser here, so you've got to leave this browser open. So you have to open up a new instance of Chrome if you want to if you want to run this. So basically, this will run in the background, similar to Linmail, but it's running off your main browser instead of off an iPhone, which is just different. It's not that big of a deal. Um, the other annoying thing, I guess you'd say, with with um, duck soup is that it's a bit harder to set your parameters than it is with Linmail. Um, and that may just be because I'm newer to the software, so I haven't figured out everything. The really good thing that duck soup has is that it has a planner. So you can come into here and you can say when you want this thing to run and you can randomize it and do all this kind of crazy shit. But it's actually really cool. Um, gives you a lot, it's a bit more robust I guess and yeah there's a whole lot of other cool little tricks and tools that they have here that wasn't available with email. The biggest draw point for me obviously guys is that it's cheaper, um, I'm always trying to find cheaper ways to use tools um, that do the same thing without sacrificing quality and so far Duxwood has been really amazing so if you, if you wanted to check it out just um, there's a link in my description Feel free, free, free to buy through that link and um, you'll get a six month subscription with pretty much the same price that you're going to pay for one month with Linda. Um, as I said, I do get a commission for that, but if you don't want to go through that link, if you just Google Duck Soup, you'll be able to find it. It's uh, definitely, definitely a good investment if you are trying to, trying to prospect on LinkedIn. Thanks.